How many setups offered five points with something just like this at these key times of the day? And then do the math. If you could just do one half of that, or just one quarter of that with one mini, it's real easy to see how it's just a matter of time before that thing you call a job no longer is a hindrance to you because it is a hindrance to you. Where you have your faith chained to their boss's generosity. They're so generous that they make you work those 40 hours, sometimes more, to get that paycheck. That Uncle Sam gets the tax before you touch it. And then you come out and find out that everything's much more expensive today. When you have this skill set, folks, I want you to understand what I'm about to say, and I'm going to close this video. When you learn this skill set, it removes fear. It removes fear of missing out. It removes the fear and anxiety of failing, but it also removes the fear of inflation because this skill set will always outpace inflation. I don't care if gas is $20 a gallon. I'm, I'm going to drive my Corvettes. <laughs> I have eight cylinder Corvettes that I absolutely will not leave parked. I will drive them and I will enjoy them. I don't care. Gas can be whatever it wants to be. It's a write-off for me. Okay. I don't care how much food is going to cost. I hope I, I can continuously find it. But I'm not worried about what my utility bills are going to cost. I don't worry about what things are going to cost. That skill set that you're learning here, it aids in that. It helps in that. Notice I'm not promising you get rich. Notice I haven't said that. Because I don't want you coming to my channel thinking I'm promising you to get rich. But I am promising you a skill set that offers the opportunity to do limitless, limitless feats and wonders. And it's only limited by your imagination. How much work are you going to put into it? How much work have you put into it? Who are you allowing to influence you and discourage you, distract you? Are you seeing results? Am I proving this stuff works? Do you feel scammed? Or do you feel energized and thankful that you're part of a community like we have here that's thriving? It's energetic. They're happy. They're uplifted. They encourage one another. And everyone here knows that they're not being taken for a ride. There's no upsell coming. Doesn't that feel good? It frees you up to just concentrate on learning. There's no angle. There's no sales pitch coming. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that cool? That's like the the point is is you're you're in a community that we're all trying to help one another. And all I'm trying to be is the captain of the team and just lead you in the right direction and hopefully avoid the pain and struggles that I went through. Real accounts, real money, real buttons are being pushed. You are going to find that there is a lot of opportunity that you're going to let slip by and not be upset about it. It's going to be one of the most fun experience that you're going to have as a developing and developed student of price action under me. Is you'll see so many setups, you're like, I could do this trigger now, but I'm not going to. And then walk away from it after it comes to fruition, thinking, I could have done that and I had the discipline to say no because I'm not being influenced by fear or greed and when you're at that level and you're consistent you have graduated you are an independent thinker you have mastered fear and greed you have operated with a level of discipline that is unknown to the majority of traders on YouTube Instagram Facebook, wherever.
that day's coming for you. But you gotta go through this stuff here to get to it. It's not hiding from you. I'm not making it hard for you. I've literally taught you everything except for money management, which we'll talk about next week. And then you have the complete understanding of what it is you're doing here. And you're just gonna do the same thing every day. Sometimes you'll get it right. Some days you won't. When you get it wrong, you stop. You don't rush to get it back. And you're going to find the next day, sometimes, there it is. What you took as a loss the previous day comes back sometimes with interest. And that's a good feeling when it happens. It's like, well, you know, I don't need to worry about it. You know, losing trades is like getting a flat tire. It sucks. It costs you a little bit of money and time. Delays you from what you're trying to get to and accomplish. But it's just a speed bump. Cost you a little bit of time and money, but it didn't keep you from getting where you're going. It just created a, a detour, a, a delay. I developed a very strong work ethic. Uh, I never missed a day of work. And I wanted to focus on getting out of the rat race. At 20 years old, I was thinking to myself that I wanted to be retired at the age of 40. And to my family, that sounded ludicrous. It was unachievable. You couldn't get it. You couldn't obtain that. So submit to the working grind like everyone else does. And that created a sense of anxiety in me to the degree where I was not going to relent until I got myself to the position where I wasn't going to have to work for money. Because I felt working for money was a stupid waste of my time. It was a waste of my energy, and there was a lot better things to be doing than to go to work for someone else. They're never going to appreciate you, not to the degree they should or that you would want them to. So basically, to have a job or go out into the workforce is rather stupid. So now I know some people are going to scoff at that and say, well, everyone needs to work. They have to have a job. They have to have the ends meet, if you will. And I agree. But that's not a destination. Now, unfortunately, most people create that as their final destination because of procrastination, fear of failure, uh, fail, uh, failure to observe the realities of having the resources, whether you accept the fact that you do or don't. Everyone has resources. There's absolutely zero excuses why within 10 years, anyone can retire. Now, I'm not saying that you are going to retire a multi-millionaire, but you could certainly find a way to replace your current income. Now, if you could do that, think about it. Isn't that really the definition of being rich? Now, I'm not saying super wealthy and elite status, but to be rich is you're not working for money anymore. So if you find a way to replace your current income, even if it never goes up, if you just made ends meet, that's rich. Now, some of you would disagree with that because your definition of rich or wealthy or affluent is going to vary from mine. But I'm telling you from a storyline, this is how I came up from this. I came from a very, very modest upbringing, very modest start. So it was a 20 year plan for me. Now, for most of you, that doesn't, you won't subscribe to that. 20 years is too long. Sorry, let me go to the next video. <laughs> let me go to another YouTube mentor. Let me see who's selling the system. Okay, give me a, a process of give me in one, two, three, give me the profits and watch, rinse, repeat. I never really subscribed to that very long initially because everyone's baptized in the same way with trading its indicators and buy and sell and this, that, and other But I found quickly that that wasn't the way to do it. And because I'm a very analytical person, I have a, a very technical approach to things. I'm, I'm methodical in a lot of ways, and I've always been that way. So if someone speaks to me, I'm always analyzing what's their alter, alternative motive. What's their alternative, what's their ulterior motive? And maybe there isn't one. But I'm always thinking that and I'm always trying to decipher, get to the root cause of problems because that's where the solution resides. In the American society, we're trained to accept the problem and just grind through it. 
I don't subscribe to that view. I subscribe to the fact that there is an alternative solution to our present condition that is working too much for too little. So I had to submit to a long-term process because I had readily admitted that my aptitude for it was probably going to be insufficient. So therefore, I allowed myself up to the age of 40 years old before I would really consider myself proficient, success, whatever. Okay, So I was already building in a far and wide definition of success and I gave it a long-term deadline. Now, if you're living with your folks or if you're living with family members or if you're living with a person that you don't really want to be with but because of necessity you have to be there, that is many times a very toxic environment. And when I began trading, I kept it quiet. I didn't tell anybody what I was doing because I already knew what the answer was. I developed a very strong work ethic. Uh, I never missed a day of work. And I wanted to focus on getting out of the rat race. At 20 years old, I was thinking to myself that I wanted to be retired at the age of 40. And to my family, that sounded ludicrous. It was unachievable. You couldn't get it. You couldn't obtain that. So submit to the working grind like everyone else does. And that created a sense of anxiety in me to the degree where I was not going to relent until I got myself to the position where I wasn't going to have to work for money. Because I felt working for money was a stupid waste of my time, it was a waste of my energy, and there was a lot better things to be doing than to go to work for someone else. They're never going to appreciate you, not to the degree they should or that you would want them to. So basically to have a job or go out into the workforce is rather stupid. So now I know some people are gonna scoff at that and say, well, everyone needs to work, they have to have a job, they have to have the ends meet, if you will. And I agree, but that's not a destination. Now, unfortunately, most people create that as their final destination because of procrastination, fear of failure, a failure to observe the realities of having the resources, whether you accept the fact that you do or don't, everyone has resources. There's absolutely zero excuses why within 10 years, anyone can retire. Now, I'm not saying that you are gonna retire a multimillionaire, but you could certainly find a way to replace your current income. Now, if you could do that, think about it. Isn't that really the definition of being rich? Now, I'm not saying super wealthy in the elite status, but to be rich is you're not working for money anymore. So if you find a way to replace your current income, even if it never goes up, if you just made ends meet, that's rich. Now, some of you would disagree with that because your definition of rich or wealthy or...